Good morning. Uh, my name is Philip Wood from Jack Hendry, and this is Andrew Tevisham from Luminous. We met Luminous uh, last year here at Vinovate and decided to become partners so we can represent their excellent financial analysis um, solutions and jointly develop Data Vault, which we're going to show you here today. Data Vault is best described as um, uh, Dropbox.com or Box.net for online banking for use by retail and business customers. Um, it enables customers to store their documents online in a secure location. It enables customers to send documents to their bank for review and for the bank to electronically distribute documents to their customers, such as loan agreements. So what? Statistics show that 7.5% of documents are misfiled or lost um, during a, you know, a, a customer's day. Um, professionals spend 50% of their day um, looking for information within their business. Misfiled or lost documents um, are, are not only embarrassing for customers uh, and banks, but costly in terms of time um, and money and missed opportunity. I'm going to hand over now to Andrew to run you through how Data Vault works for a business customer. Right, so here we have a small business owner, perhaps a startup SME, who is logged in via his online banking and onto his Data Vault uh, desktop here. What this provides, especially for a startup SME, is somewhere to put all his documents. He's going to be generating a lot of documents. He needs to uh, store information, his management reports, information from his suppliers, his bills. He wants to store information about his customers. And where is he going to put it? So let's have a look how he can use the system easily to run his business. Some of these folders are shared. So you can see here, he can share it with his relationship manager. And as he puts documents in there, he can then join with the bank's enterprise content management system and a place to lodge the documents. So let's have a look what this looks like. He has a set of folders that mirrors what was on that web application. And he has perhaps collected a few documents on his new business. He now needs to drag those across there. You've seen something like this before. And uh, let's suppose he has a, has a bit of other information he wants to put in here, letters and credits analysis. He drags it across, and he gets a notification that he has files ready for uploading. So we've done it in this way so that if he happens to be offline at the time, he can choose whether to snooze this and do it at a more convenient time. So he can work offline. He doesn't have the access to his own enterprise uh, content management system, but he can do this with the system. So he uploads it now. Let's go across to the dashboard again, and we'll refresh. So what happens here, you can see that he's had some documents come in here. We have an analysis on the documents in the storage space. Let's have a look. At this particular case, he's got his um, annual business return registration. He can go and just check that it's there. Oh, he's happy with that. And we're done with this part of the scenario for the small and business, uh, the SME. Let's go across now to the bank. The bank relationship manager, he has access to an enterprise content management system. What he's going to do He's going to go through and check his search here, and there is, there is that document. You can go and have a look at this. Opens it up. He can review it. He's happy with it. And that's that part of his scenario completed. Now, supposing this relationship manager has a new loan agreement that he wants to now provide or lodge so that the customer can see this as well. So there's a common place where it is lodged and can be referenced. So what he does here, he saves it, selects, he's going to put it into loan agreements, gives it a name, and a date, and he's going to save that. So the document is saved. He can check that it's here, available on his Enterprise Content Management System. There it is. And that's his piece of work done for now. 
So we're going to go across now back to the business owner. Here he is, the SME. He goes into his online solution here, goes back to the, um, to the data vault dashboard. He has a notification that he's received one new file. He's going to refresh this, and there, there the loan agreement is. So he's got this in a secure place. All the people who need to see it, they can see it. He can share it with the people who count, his auditors, his business partners. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Andrew. Um, so in summary, Data Vault is a white-label solution for retail and business uh, banking customers. It comes with single sign-on for use for the bank's existing online banking solution. Um, we see um, Data Vault as a complementary solution to existing content management solutions and not a replacement of it. Um, a Tier 1 bank is ready to go live with um, Data Vault for business users. The content management engine behind Data Vault has been in market now since 1987, and there are over 1,000 FIs um, we're currently processing with that. Data Vault will save customers and banks time and effort in looking for lost or misfiled documents and ensure fast, secure communication with their customers. There's a real opportunity for banks here today to become um, adopters, early adopters of this solution, and we look forward to meeting you in the booth after the break. Thank you.